another documentary review i know but when i was invited to an advanced screening in my home of this one um i knew i had to say yes because i love a documentary welcome to my review of all in the fight for democracy Welcome back, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Katrina and I make bookish content here on this channel at least twice a week and then movie reviews or book to movie content here at the weekend. I do have a lot of book to movie content coming up for you. I know I keep saying that, but it's coming. Um, it just requires a little more work than just a regular movie review. Um, all of my social links are in the description box below so you can keep up with my reading and watching in between times and I will also leave a playlist of my movie reviews linked up above in case you're looking for something to watch this weekend or this week. Um, today, yes, I was sent an email from GoFobo, thank you very much GoFobo, um, to another advanced screening in my home. I am loving this because I'm missing the cinema right now and aside from, you know, paying $30 to watch Mulan, I'm kind of missing the new releases. So um, yes, this is an Amazon original documentary that is um, being released in cinemas on the 9th of September. So by the time you're watching this, it will already be released. But excitingly, something very short to run in cinemas. Um, so you can watch it on Amazon on the 18th of September. So that's coming in handy for when you are watching this. Perfect. Um, and yeah, I was sent um, an advanced screening. So I watched it on Wednesday the 9th, which is when it comes into cinemas. Um, and this one is a documentary talking about um, a little bit of a background in um, voters' rights in America, but specifically talking about voter suppression in America, which was great for me because obviously I do not vote in America. I still vote in the UK. I've voted by post and I've, I've voted by proxy. I still do vote in UK elections and I will continue to vote. I would love to be able to vote here, but it's just not something that's in my future right now being a US citizen. So I still vote in the UK and I am always a little bit confused around the, um, the US voting system. So it was really interesting that this documentary came along when it did, being that, you know, we have an election in a couple of months in this country. Um, so this talks about the background behind the amendments that gave um, people the vote in the US. So we had the um, amendment to end slavery and then the amendment that gave um, black people the right to vote, the amendment that gave women the right to vote and sort of looking at the history behind that. But with each of those steps came voter suppression in one form or another, came people trying to change the laws and people trying to stop groups that basically aren't rich white men from voting um, and so it was really really interesting to see the the processes that led to people having the right to vote and then the processes that basically made that right impossible to use um, at every step of the way leading right up to now when they had primary voting during a pandemic and what that looked like in, I want to say Wisconsin, I think it was Wisconsin. Um, and the whole documentary also follows Stacey Abrams and her um, race to become governor in Georgia. Um, it was, she was um, the Democratic candidate in Georgia going up against um, this Republican who did end up quote unquote winning the election, that's not a spoiler because it's happened. Um, and so the, the process that was behind her running for governor, her campaign, and then the actual election itself and what happened that showed off a whole load of stuff to do with voter suppression around that. So we've got the history of the country as a whole and then we look at a kind of a real time case of this happening and Stacey Abrams narrates and talks to camera a lot throughout the documentary. We also have other um, political people talking. We have um, clips of 
um, voter suppression in action and we have clips from various political movements that led to changes in the law to try and stop but also to increase voter suppression so that was really interesting again it had a nice balance of people talking to camera actual footage historical evidence and then it had some recreations that were done through animation as well that were kind of like faceless animations which was interesting um and yeah i really did find it interesting um obviously it made me quite angry um because i would not like it if anybody took away my right to vote and i am lucky that even though I live in this country right now, I am still able to continue to vote in elections in the UK um, and continue to kind of have a say. Um, I've always worked, I've either been in education or worked in education and so I've always exercised my right to vote because the government has a lot to do with the work that I do. Um, but even if you really don't feel like it affects you directly, I think that voting is a very important thing to do and something that as, as a woman as well, I know that lots of people fought and lost their lives in the fight for my right to vote as well, as a non-landowning woman, of course, as well. Um, but yeah, there was some interesting things that came up that I didn't know in the documentary. Um, and there were some things that, came up that people were very passionate about that I kind of didn't realize went on. Um, I learned the term gerrymandering, which I think is a really interesting term and um, thinking about it, I know where that has happened in certain instances as well. Um, I definitely think that it does definitely feel like um, an Amazon Prime or kind of Netflix style of documentary. So I can see why it's got such a short release in the cinema. If I had been to see this in the cinema, I think I would be saying, you could probably wait for it to come to Amazon Prime and watch it at home. But as you are seeing this, it is it has just come on to Amazon Prime. So um, would I recommend watching this on Amazon Prime? Yes, I would. Whether you live in the US, whether you live outside the US and don't really understand the US voting system, I think that this works both ways, whether you are part of that voting system or whether you are looking on as an outsider, whether you have, you know, whether you are not in, uh, whether you are in a group that has had their vote suppressed or whether you are somebody who's always been able to vote i think it's still a worthwhile documentary it's not too long um like i say it breaks it up really nicely and it breaks everything down into kind of easy to understand um bite size pieces of information without feeling like you're being talked down to so for me in terms of it being a documentary it's not really something that i see as being a massive hit on the big screen but I think as an Amazon Prime original and for something for you to watch at home on Amazon or on the go on your phones on Amazon, um, I do recommend it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed the fact that I'm bringing you another documentary review because I do love a documentary. Um, and I feel like I should talk about that more on this channel, especially since you know I read a lot of nonfiction as well. So let me know in the comments if you would like to see more non-fiction documentary reviews here because that does form part of my reading and watching um if you have enjoyed these couple of documentary reviews that i have made for you let me know or if you want me to stick to the kind of movies you can sit down and escape with rather than have your political awareness raised um then again let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up Make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss out on my future videos, especially if I am making more videos that are the kind that you want to see. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on my bookish content coming to you in the week. Um, and I will see you with my next video. Thanks so much for watching.